Good morning everyone and welcome to another weekly stargazing with myself, Andrew, one of the astronomers in the planetarium at Glasgow Science Centre and today we're going to be talking about the Spring Triangle. Now as you may have guessed, the Spring Triangle is not a constellation. It's what we call an asterism. An asterism is just a pattern of stars that borrow itself from a larger constellation or constellations. In this case, the Spring Triangle borrows itself from three constellations. There is Virgo, Leo, and the lesser known Bootes. Let's see how we find it. Now, the Spring Triangle is bright enough that you can see it from a city sky, so do give this a try at home. First of all, we need to find a set of seven stars that are incredibly famous in our nighttime sky. The Plough, or the Big Dipper, whatever you like to call it. To find our first star in the Spring Triangle, we use the handle of the Plough, the first three stars, and they make a little bit of a curve themselves. So to find our first star, called Arcturus, a fun way to remember this is that we arc to Arcturus. Arcturus is a wonderfully bright star in a constellation called Bootes, which is not a very well-known constellation and it does have a bit of a funny name. In ancient Greek, it means plowman or herdsman, but when I look at the constellation, I would like to remember it as an ice cream cone having a dance. After that, once we've found Arcturus, we then spike to Spica, the brightest star in the constellation of Virgo the Maiden, and then we look west to find a smaller star called Denebola at the tail of the lion. And the nebula literally translates to tail of the lion. And that is, of course, of the constellation Leo. Some other astronomers also like to look for the heart of Leo, a star called Regulus. And either of these correct, whichever is easiest for you to find. Both of those are considered the spring triangle. The spring triangle is important because it heralded in the beginning of spring. It tends to begin around the beginning of March when we can see the stars in the sky and then they'll slowly move across our sky until they set. So do have a look out for these stars while you still can and while they're still out in the nighttime sky. But if you miss them, don't worry, there is also a summer triangle and it's also one of my favourite asterisms which I'll tell you about another week. Thank you very much everyone, I hope you enjoyed this week's instalment of GSE at Home and our weekly stargazing. If you have any questions or comments please put them below this video and we'll love to answer them back. 